Okay, I'm going to show you how to record a sale in the Big Easy system. I'm in the January deposits and I'm going to record the sale. Of course, you'd put in your date. Here's ABC Company and I got a check from them and it I sold them widgets, $800 worth and you can see the sales tax is automatically calculated here and if this was a cash sale or it involved PayPal um, you could tab or scroll to the far right here and you'll see there are columns to handle that so if you put a P in here for PayPal the amount would switch over from the checkbook to the PayPal account and if it was a cash sale you would put a C here and it would show a cash sale instead of it going into your checkbook but in this case it was a checkbook transaction so we'll leave it here and I've scrolled all the way over now here's the sales tax column at times when you're dealing with percentages you may be off by a penny or two. To correct an error in the Big Easy system, you would scroll down in the deposits all the way to the bottom row. There's 200 rows and you would put in your adjusting amount here. So you could put like a penny or two, whatever you needed to correct for rounding. Now there was no rounding error so I will remove that. I will go all the way back up to the top and now I'll show you where you can find the amount of sales tax you've collected. If you click on the income and expenses you'll see down here on the balancing items which is near the bottom of this page on the bottom of the income and expenses page you'll see forty eight dollars in sales tax you may also see it here on your account balance tracker I will scroll down and you can see the forty eight dollars sales tax here and that's it